Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto finance or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today we've got some XRP news. Very, very bullish. Institutions are literally on the cusp of pouring billions of dollars into XRP with a potential spot uh, XRP ETF incoming right now. We've got Van Eck to delist the Bitcoin strategy ETF, which is interesting. Uh, we've got Solana activity surging. I'm very, very bullish on Solana. We've got Binance faces 5% market share loss uh, because of all the debacle going on at the moment. Let's see what happens with Binance. I don't use it anymore. JP Morgan, uh, Jamie Dimon, you got to listen to this interview on CNBC uh, at Davos last night. The guy's crazy, really, when you think about it. Anyway, there's a lot to get through. My three commas bots are making some nice profits. We're going to go through that on OKX. Both are official partners of the channel. And we're going to get into the altcoins as well and my most favorite altcoins of them all. Anyway, massive shout out. Thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification because as you can see right here on the screen, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are about to get pretty crazy in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up or watch it straight through, it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find, ladies and gentlemen, do that. All right. So make sure you give it a good thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff, all right? I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. All right, formalities are out of the way, ladies and gents, or I should say bulls. We have an update right here, the top five spot Bitcoin ETFs by assets. Grayscale has currently got 25 billion. BlackRock is creeping up there at $710 million. Fidelity's at $524 million. Bitwise, $305 million. And ARK Invest, Kathy Woods, 21 shares, $227 million. That is a lot of money. I'm just putting that on <laughs> out there. It's a substantial amount of capital. Top old coins this morning, we had Atlas, LCX, T Fuel, uh, Solana, and Gas. Now, I get paid gas from holding that on my exchanges. Uh, from holding NEO. So you get paid passive income. Anyway, that's pretty bullish. Solana, of course, is the favorite out of all of them there at 65%. Let's go to coin market cap quickly. And we have 1.69 trillion at the moment, 61 on the greed index. You guys are going to get a little bit more greedy there. But anyway, market dominance is 49% Bitcoin, 18% Ethereum. Volume is quite low at $55 billion. And uh, I don't know, you know, it should be up at least around $130, $150 billion, you know, but again, that's full bull market cycle stuff and uh, prices would be absolutely flying. Anyway, top altcoins, let's have a look. Bitcoin's trading at 42862 at the time of recording. USD, 2500 Ethereum, uh, let's have a look. Solana's at $100, US XRP, $0.56. Cents. Come on, Jim. Uh, ADA's at $0.52. Cents. We have AVAX, $35. Doge at $0.08 cents right now. Dots at $7.33. Chainlink, I'm incredibly bullish on, bull, uh, guys. It's $15. I mean, this was hundreds of dollars in the previous bull market. I mean, Aussie dollars, by the way. ICP at $12. Let's have a look. Litecoin, 69 I do hold that one. Banking coins, XLM is $0.11. Cents. Scrolling down, Hedera, making some moves with the Hashgraph, uh, Hedera Hashgraph project. There's a lot of uh, big institutions on this governance board. And again, them allocating $400 million to the actual network is extremely bullish because it's just going to continue to grow. VeChain, three cents. Algo, 19 cents. The Graph, 16 cents. That's just, uh, let's have a look here. Quant is at 117 US dollars. I bought this at 80 US dollars. This is the bottom line. You've got to get in early. Axie right here, seven dollars. I'm still looking for a good place to stake that and earn that you know juicy APY of 48 or 45 percent APY, which was ridiculous. Uh, but of course, thank you to ASIC, the Australian regulator. XDC at four cents. Casper has dropped out, by the way, of the top 100. 
which I'm not concerned about. But anyway, let's go to crypto bubbles. And before I do, yes, I have the Wall Street Bull University linked below. I put up on my buys, sells, trades, indicators, day trading bots, uh, my three commas trading bots with OKX. Everything is up there with full instructional videos on how to do this, ladies and gents, because I get so many messages how to do this. Now, everything is up in here. You can literally copy all the bots that I've currently got running, the multi bots. Everything's in here for you. And there's also a really cool chat feature where you can speak to everybody in the community. And you can also direct message me as well, which is pretty bullish. There's no one else running this but myself. So just making that clear. 1,655 posts of really good information, guys. I've kept this at five US dollars a month, which is nothing compared to what people are making in general with the three commas uh, bots on OKX. All right, so just putting that out there, it's about $8.50 Aussie, it's nothing. A lot of value in there. Let's have a look quickly. And of course, we've got the three commas app. And now again, three commas is bullish. I've been using it for two and a half years. And again, really gotten insane with it in the last nine months. I've currently got all my multi bots set up, as you can see here. These are trading for me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A couple of these are on 8x leverage and some most of these are on 10x leverage. Just want to point that out. Don't trade with leverage and, you know, unless you are well and truly prepared to lose that money. Just making that very clear because when those flash crashes happen, you get liquidated. It's as simple as that. There's, there's no pretty way of telling it. And I've lost big, but I'm also making some good uh, income from just reinvesting. Consistency is key here. So again, three commas, you will get a discount on your subscription. I'm using the pro plan on a monthly subscription and uh, you can get an annual one as well and you can get a discount on that. So join up using the referral links below. Quick look at OKX so you can see now they are an official partner of the channel. Very, very bullish. They allow me to trade with leverage. Uh, currently sitting at $18 today. This was pumping yesterday. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about that. Now on the week, which is get you know absolutely insane, three, two, four, zero, that's 26.91%. No BS. So not going to go too much into detail about this, but uh, go check it out. Everything's in the Wall Street Bull University. You will get all the information in there. Quick look at crypto bubbles. Uh, let's have a look here. Hex is pumping. Stay away from that. I'm not interested in anything to do with Richard Hart. No offense, but yeah, the guys obviously spend people's money buying luxury items. You don't see Brad Garlinghouse doing that, right? Uh, moving on, ladies and gents, let's have a look here. We've got NEO as well up uh, today, 1.7% at $12 USD. Solana also doing 3.4% today at $101 US dollars. So let's see where Solana goes. Still bullish on all my favorite coins. I'm not going to get into all of them because they're just too hard to find. Let's get into the news. I want to smash out this uh, video right here, but institutions on the cusp of uh, pouring in billions of dollars into the uh, beautiful cryptocurrency XRP there for the potential spot. Uh, I keep saying Bitcoin, but because it's so on my mind, but the XRP ETF, which would be nice in the wake of the groundbreaking approval of multiple Bitcoin ETFs by the US SEC or Gary Gensler by way of court order. Uh, the crypto community is buzzing with anticipation, speculating that the spot XRP ETF might soon join the ranks of regulatory approval. Could you imagine if Gary Gensler actually approves an XRP ETF? I mean, he would absolutely hate that, really. And after what seemed like an in, uh, interminable wait, uh, the SEC finally gave the nod to the spot Bitcoin ETFs on Wednesday last week making a historic moment for the crypto space and opening up new possibilities on uh, other single asset crypto ETFs to make their debut in the market. Notably, the notion for a potential spot XRP ETF gained traction when a fake ETF filing connected to BlackRock last year briefly tricked enthusiasts. Interesting. Although the filing was eventually revealed as a hoax, the XRP ETF concept captured supporters' imagination. And you know what? People without an imagination will just go nowhere in life. So you do need to have imagination. This is what happens. I'm going to stop moving my microphone around because it's going to go freaking everywhere. Anyway, Steve McClurg, Chief Investment Officer of Valkyrie, fueled the flames in the hope of spot XRP ETF and hinted a similar possibility for the Ethereum. Well, that's already happening. Uh, in Bloomberg interview, McClurg expressed optimism for the future, saying, I think we're going to see a lot of filings come out of uh, for Ethereum. I even think we might see something for Ripple given the recent progress. And that's the truth. We also had Brad Garlinghouse getting, uh, I should say, hammered on that question and he, he wouldn't answer it. But anyway, I, I think it will happen. We're going to stay positive here, ladies and gents. Moving down, Van Eck is delisting de uh, the Bitcoin strategy ETF, which is interesting, citing performance and investor interest because I don't think anyone's invested in the, uh, interested in the performance strategy, more more so just holding Bitcoin. The decision to remove shares of Van Eck Bitcoin strategy ETF came roughly a week after the firm received approval of the SEC to list shares of its spot Bitcoin ETF. 
So again, they're delisting that. Whatever, moving on. Solana activity surges. Is a price breakout imminent? And Solana activity surges monthly active addresses to top BNB chain and Ethereum. Good. Uh, and Jupiter DeFi platform announces a token airdrop. Bullish traders predict the inflows to Sol with a triangle breakout, which again, for those technical analysis people, there you go. And uh, activity on Solana is picking up, evidenced by several developments in the ecosystem. And Nansen data shows a 98.9% .9 surge in Solana monthly active addresses in December. The 19, uh, 13.9 million active addresses top Binance's BNB Smart Chain at 137 and uh, far exceeded Ethereum at 5.4. Why? Because the Ethereum gas fees are ridiculous. Furthermore, Solana-based decentralized finance aggregator Jupiter announced Jan 31st as its official launch day for expected token airdrop. And uh, to be quite honest, I mean, a couple of these airdrops have been good, whatever. I mean, I love the XRP ones that we, we had, but I'm not a massive fan of them. I don't just go invest in the, uh, the crypto just to get that airdrop. What for? It's up to you. You can get it, hold on to it, see where it goes. And Binance is facing a 5% share in the market loss, which is interesting. A one undisputed monarch, Binance relinquished 5% of the crypto exchange kingdom in 2023, but clung to the throne despite the regulatory storms and CEOs Exodus right here, you know, with CZ, while upstart rivals OKX and Bybit chipped away at its dominance. Nice. Well done, OKX. And Bybit again, uh, sorry, Binance still commanded 50% share, proving its resilience in a year marked by turbulence based on the most recent analysis, renowned crypto research company, Token Insights. So Binance is slowly coming down, but they're still at the top. Moving on, we've got Jamie Dimon absolutely hating on cryptos right now. But I defend your right to do Bitcoin. Like, the guy's so traditional and so backwards. It's uh, it's ugh, whatever, man. I'm he's I think he's a goose. And uh, Jamie Dimon said the most recent ferocious attack ever on the flagship cryptocurrency Bitcoin at Davos. We're going to watch that in a second. And Dimon shared with CNBC Squatbox his thoughts on the range of topics, including meeting with again Vladimir Zelensky right here, geopolitical issues, doing business in China, and the state of the economy. And of course, the presidential race, cryptocurrency, commercial, uh, real estate, and more. So he, there was quite a significant interview that he gave. We're going to have a listen to a bit of that in a second. Moving on, let's have a look at, uh, close that one right here. Net buy flow, let's have a look at where the money's going. This website has a mind of its own. It's, it's good to see where it is. Here we go. It's actually working. Ethereum, Solana, we have Link, Matic, uh, we have Chili's, Gas, and Rune, and XRP. That's where the money is going, which is nice. Let's go to X and have a look what's happening on here. I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz. How many followers do I have at the moment? Let's have a look. 5,968. Let's try and crack this to 6,000. If I wake up in the morning, it's 6K. You guys are absolute legends. Thank you very much to everyone else, by the way. Have a listen to Jamie Diamond on Bitcoin. Uh, <laughs> good have a listen. Word, which is Bitcoin. Yeah. Um, this ETF was approved yeah. uh, just about a week ago now. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are trying to understand what it ultimately means. Yeah. Uh, JP Morgan, I imagine uh, if you're a client of JP Morgan, you could call your broker and say, uh, get, get, get me some of this ETF. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you telling what are you telling your brokers to tell them back when they make that call? Yeah. So this is an important thing. I would, this is the last time I've ever talked about this in CNBC. Okay? So help me God. <laughs> Blockchain is real. It's a technology. We use it. It's going to move money. It's going to move data. It's efficient. We've been talking about that for 12 years, too, and it's very small. OK, so I think we've wasted too many words in that. Cryptocurrencies, there are two types. There's a cryptocurrency which might actually do something. Think of a cryptocurrency as an embedded smart contract right. in it, and that we can use it to buy and sell real estate and move data. That may have value. The idea of tokenizing things. Tokenizing things right. that, that you do something with. And then there's one which does nothing. I call it the pet rock, the Bitcoin or something like that. And so on the Bitcoin, you know, there's, first of all, and I'm, I'm not trying to make a joke here. There are use cases, AML, fraud, anti-money laundering, tax avoidance, sex trafficking, those are real use cases, and you see it being used for hundreds, maybe $50, $100 billion right. a year for that. That is the end use case. Everything else is people train among themselves. So, Speculating. You yeah. Now, okay, now my last statement, the last time I ever talk about Bitcoin, is I defend your right to do Bitcoin. I think, you know, it's okay. okay. I don't want to tell you what to do. So my personal advice would be don't get involved, right. but I don't want to tell any one of you what to do. It's a free country. What do, you make so, of, what do you make of Black, what do you make of the other firms, the Blackrocks of the world that that obviously and, and Larry Fink 
changed his view of this, obviously. Yeah. And maybe he changed his view because you think he genuinely believes in Bitcoin or, genu or believed it because he thinks that there's a marketplace for it and he wants to be part of that market. But what do you think of the, I mean, there's a, about a dozen big financial companies, Fidelity no, included. No, number one, I don't care. So just please stop talking about this shit. And, <laughs> and I don't know what he would say about blockchain versus currencies that do something versus Bitcoin that does nothing. And maybe that not different than me. But, you know, this is what makes a market. People have opinions. I, this is the last time I'm ever going to state my opinion. Could we, could we pivot to a topic that I, <laughs> I think you should just keep getting questions about it. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, listen to this, by the way. Uh, so you think so, huh? I do. I think there's a good chance that when Bitcoin, when we get We're to that 20 to million Bitcoins, million, go to that, 42. No, that Satoshi's going to come on there, laugh hysterically, go quiet, all Bitcoins going to be erased. I think, man. How the hell do you know it's going to stop at not, 21? Not I've, I've never met one person who told me they know for a fact they take that mathematically, as, it's, it, it, it's not, it has, can't happen because has, yeah, but gold's limited in the supply. Oh, man, I, it just makes me cringe. Anyway, Bitcoin ETF trading volume surpasses eleven billion dollars in the fourth day of trading, which is bullish. Eric Boo, uh, how do I pronounce his name, man? Balkanus? Is that how you pronounce your name? Sorry, Eric, I do apologize. You've been putting out some incredible tweets, by the way. Or, X is whatever you want to call them. Discount uh, GBDC uh, under 50 basis points today, which is good. Started life as an ETF at 150 basis points, 80 basis points yesterday, now 47 basis points. That's nice as well. Jack the Rippler, thank you. Every bank in Japan will use XRP. That is bullish. There's also updates happening in relation to Coinbase. And uh, Stuart Alderotti is putting out some bullish tweets here. But today, this is Paul Grewal. Uh, we made arguments in our motion to bounce the SEC suit against Coinbase. After hours and hours, this must uh, much remain clear. The SEC continues to claim broad authority over all investments on Coinbase. It's ridiculous. I mean, they give ETF approvals and, you know, Coinbase is a legitimate company. They don't put out BS and whatnot. It's just ridiculous. The SEC uh, chairman needs to go. It's just uh, an absolute S show. I'm not going to swear on the channel, but anyway, all shit show. There you go. Uh, again, go to the banking coins, ladies and gents. I'm going to get this video done. Here they are right here. I've shared this multiple times in the Patreon, by the way. No BS. These are the coins that I'm focusing on. Real utility, not meme coins, not stuff that you hear about from a friend or whatever, because I've done that, been there. Again, I've been in Bitcoin since 2016, so I, I haven't sold it since, by the way. Um, so there you go. These are the coins I'm bullish on. Of course, I want XRP to go parabolic because the XRP army is extremely bullish and we've been waiting a long freaking time and have stuck through it. Anyway, looking forward to Wave of Innovation, by the way. Quick mention of that in March on the Gold Coast. I'll be back up there to meet all of the XRP army. We've got a lot of bullish presenters there uh, coming to the event, including Johnny Deaton, who I would like to meet face to face. It's going to be awesome. So make sure you grab your tickets to that as well. All right. I shall speak to everybody tomorrow. Have a good night, a good afternoon, and a good morning wherever you are in the world. And if it's morning, wherever you are in the world, have an espresso for me, all right? Peace out, bulls. I'll speak to you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.